the election bugle has been sounded. Maharashtra and Haryana will vote for their next government on the 15th of October. With just about a month to go for both the BJP and the Congress, alliances are in flux. Arguments are taking place over seat sharing and defections are proving to be a major issue. It's literally them versus him. October 15th, Maharashtra and Haryana, two Congress ruled states, go to the polls. After the decimation in the Lok Sabha elections, for the Congress, it's all about survival and being relevant. While for the BJP and especially the Prime Minister, it's another opportunity to capitalize on the Modi wave. A BJP win would ensure Congress being almost wiped out from the West and the North of India. लोग परिवर्तन के लिए बिल्कुल तैयार है भारतीय जनता पार्टी और उनके अलायंस इसके लिए लोग वोट करेंगे महाराष्ट्र इज अ लार्ज स्टेट इट्स एन इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेट एंड वी हैव नो डाउट दैट वी विल अक्विट आर सेल्व वेरी क्रेडिटिबली एंड वेरी ऑनरेबली बट बोथ नेशनल पार्टीज स्ट्रगलिंग विद अलायस After 15 years in power, anti-incumbency and a slew of scams have terribly hurt both the Congress and the NCP. Much like the Shiv Sena and the BJP, whose top leaders were hardly comfortable even meeting. Zamini hakke ke to apne aap ko hume bhi aap uski uska wo andesha karna padega, jaisa lena padega, unko bhi karna padega. For the BJP too, it's a reality check as the results. will reflect if the modi wave which swept india a few months ago is still as effective or has it lost some of its magic with ketki angre and anand patel in mumbai tejas mehta for ndtv